Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We provide fan-oriented and analytic discussions on a variety of animated shows, movies, and anime, currently featuring Steven Universe, Miraculous Study Bug, The New Pipe of Girls, and Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stilval. Hello. And Justin Cummings. Hey, everybody. Today, Delaney, Justin, and I will be discussing the August 3rd episode of uh, Summer of Steven, Steven vs. Amethyst. Uh, we're covering every episode of Summer of Steven slash Steven's Summer Adventures of Steven Universe, of course, here on the Overly Animated Podcast. You can check us out at OverlyAnimated.com or search for the Overly Animated Podcast on iTunes, your favorite podcatcher, to check out our previous discussions. Um, covering every episode every day right after the episode. Make sure to check us out. And uh, spoilers for this episode and previous episodes of Steven Universe, but not for future episodes episodes including the hype bismuth special tomorrow uh definitely hype for that but we'll talk about that at the end before we do that let's get into steven versus amethyst delaney general impressions of this episode that's the runaway it's what it was uh i enjoyed it a lot is um uh i mean we knew i mean obviously i had you had read the episode description yesterday and i was like oh okay um, it, it was a little bit different than I was, ex- you know, anticipating. Um, but I, it didn't go as deep as I think I wanted it to. But we're clearly, I think, we're still going to be working on it. I don't necessarily think this was a resolution, but I really enjoyed the episode. Um, more hologram pearl is always great. Um, having pearl in it in general was great. Pearl is like literally first grade teacher mom, and I just love her. And they messed up the ruins. Just I don't know. Just I enjoyed it all of it. Um, the egg salad thing like messed me up really bad but it's overall it's good i really enjoyed it justin what are your impressions it it's interesting because this episode is basically part two to crack the whip like i thought they were going to be related but they were literally yeah. like 10 seconds after crack the whip ends is when this starts yeah for so sure. i like that the show is getting into more they're doing serialized stuff that doesn't have to be a part one and part two in the name, but still connects. I like that a lot. But as for the episode itself, I mean, it had all the gags I thought worked very, very well. It had a lot of great references in it. Um, it worked very well in like three fluid movements, especially. I love that fight scene. I thought it was very, very well animated. Looked great. Uh, fun, fun stuff. Good episode. Got some great amethyst resolutions not as much as we would have liked but still some good stuff in there yeah i definitely much needed amethyst episode along with yesterday we've been clamoring for the amethyst arc and uh finally it seems like we're getting it although not i don't know i don't know how much of a continuation this will be but maybe our three-parter next week is also about amethyst um yeah i enjoyed steven versus amethyst uh some good stuff in here uh i i like the emotional amethyst and um Steven stuff we get into at the end. I love the Pearl stuff in the beginning. Uh, the the a lot more GameCube appearances, which is great. And our fake Street Fighter, I guess. Uh, uh, is, it's Soul Calibur, I'd say. I was it, thinking it Soul Calibur too. Street Fighter, I mean, but it acts Soul Calibur. Soul I mean, Calibur two Blade. on the GameCube, like yeah, with Link and, Link and the costumes and the. I mean, there's that's like all fighting games though, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, we'll, but Lonely we'll, Blade and yeah. Soul Calibur. I guess, I guess that's how you describe Soul Calibur is Lonely Blade. I don't I don't even I played it and I don't remember. But yeah, so uh, it's it's it was good. I mean, the, like something this episode took feels similar to Sworn to the Sword. Like they take place in the same location. They kind of have this like emotional over the top at the end. I don't know. With with all the Amethyst episodes so far, I just at the end, I just always can't help like feeling that um, they don't hit the emotional. Like, or, like there's like there's not enough. Like it's yeah, just they it, do it, and we're like we're just we're still only on the surface. Like when we have episodes with Pearl or Garnet, it's like oh my god, I'm gonna cry, rip my soul out, please. But then we just kind of. I mean, I understand Amethyst is a different character, but it's just we don't we just we don't hit the highs, we don't hit the lows. We just it's just there. And it's like, I really like, I really, I'm really hoping we're just going to get more. Like, I just keep waiting for more with Amethyst. Yeah. And this was more than we've gotten in a while. Right. I, it's just, even this though, I feel like doesn't like, uh, you're right. It's it not as deep, but it's also it just like, enough. yeah, it, it doesn't feel as emotional or as, um, as kind of inherently interesting or like soul crushing or like anything as, as a lot of the other stuff we get. Um, 
I don't think this episode necessarily changed any of that. Like, I think this is like a good, uh, not super great type episode. Um, but there's some great moments and stuff. I just, I don't know. I feel like we're still not getting there with Amethyst, even if we're doing this arc on. Well, I don't. I don't think this is necessarily the it episode, though. Like, I'm, I'm still anticipating like more. Like, we still, we still don't really talk about. We even got. Well, I'm not Rose Quartz. Like, okay, obviously we need to like back that stuff up and talk about that for like 45 minutes. But it's not like we need. Like, I think this is the start, and I'm hoping Uh we get more. Obviously, it's really hard to like get Amethyst to talk and like things, and this is. And I think this has like the potential to be even more complicated than anything we've had with Pearl and um, Garnet. It just we just need to get there. We just needs to happen. And of yeah, course, it, yeah, it totally could be like it, part two of the uh, part five uh, Amethyst Dark, right? So we might yeah. not even be getting the depth stuff yet. So I mean, part of it too is I mean, yeah, we've gotten a little bit of Amethyst backstory, like an on the run. But like Rose's scabbard, we saw a lot of uh, Pearl's backstory with Rose. Anthony, we saw a lot of Garnets. We have seen nothing of amethyst and rose basically except that one line yesterday of rose says i was perfect just the way i am i think once we see how amethyst ended up with the crystal gems how they found her just something i think that's going to open up the gate and that's when we're going to really start getting deep into amethyst because we just don't know that much backstory on her yet uh yeah i mean to a certain extent, that's true. Yeah, we do, we definitely don't know quite as much as, like, Pearl. But at the same time, all of them are just very... It's not like we've gotten super big flashback episodes for anyone except Garnet. And we Garnet. literally know nothing about any of them. Like, they're just these, yeah, like, mystical I, rocks that are here. But we've never it's even fine. seen Amethyst look at Rose, is the thing. Like, Rose's scabbard, sure. we at least okay, made so that connection. Right, so we don't have... We, like, our backstory Amethyst stuff we have, like, in relation to Greg. Or, right. right so we know why the others are in the Crystal Gems... To an extent, Pearl, not as much why she joined, but why she stayed. But Amethyst, we don't know why she joined. And I think we need that to really get deep into her character that's, because that's it's a, a key point. part. Yeah. I mean, her thing in the oh, an extended theme is like protect the only world I've ever known, right? So I don't know. Well, right. we knew she was made on Earth because yeah. kindergarten. Yeah. So, Which, and, and we're going to certainly get into more kindergarten stuff. Right. Yeah, next definitely. Week. Yeah. Next week, right? Next week, yeah. So it's, it's, uh, that could be I it. think we're getting there. We're, we're moving Hopefully. slowly but surely towards it, I think. I don't know. With the Amethyst stuff, I always like, and this episode included, I'm always like, okay, is it just that Amethyst isn't my personal favorite or is it that the yeah, Amethyst stuff isn't as good as the other stuff? And I honestly yeah, don't know that. I also, I also have, yeah, that's, like that's how I feel all the I think time. It's, I think it's and both. Every, I think like I think yeah. Well, everyone on everyone on Tumblr yesterday was like reblog this blah 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 about Amethyst. It's like yes, Amethyst is awesome, but like we all like and Amethyst can be your favorite character. That's fine. But the thing is also like we really don't like the the difference between like depth we get with Pearl and Garnet and Amethyst is like I don't know if it's a different kind of depth or it just isn't there. Like I we need more like especially and this is a really like I really like we're gonna get more with the kindergarten like you said, but like I'm just. I'm really hoping this is just like another step towards like, yeah, you know, a amethyst, you know, yeah. and the sword, leave me crying afterwards. Like, yeah, and all indications are it will be. So it's at yeah. the very least uh, she's in beta. Like, so. I'm anticipating, you know, you know, yeah. they're gonna Rebecca Sugar's gonna hurt me. Like that's what she does. Like I'm, I'm ready for it. It's well, just the whole, the whole crew. Me. Yes, the whole crew. <laughs> they're all gonna hurt me. I yeah. just need it. Like with the amethyst. Where yes. is it? And okay, all of that aside, like, you can you can chime in on that in the comments. But specifically about the steps, I do think Stephen and Amethyst fight at the end is a big emotional like highlight. Yes. I think there's some really good stuff there. Um, I don't think it's like quite as good as a lot of other emotional like highs that we've gotten, but it's, it was, it was, it was really interesting and kind of well-made. I, I like how Amethyst like fighting was kind of animated and stuff. I thought that was really right. interesting. And I like Amethyst new design. This is a new design, right? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah no. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting. And, um, the turn Steven fighting. I mean, I thought that was really interesting. It was like kind of this, um, unique take on it and like the fighting for who's the worst. And, um, it's it's it was a little overdone, I guess, but it was it was still well. Really the emo- well the emotion the emotion was there. The emotion which... was there, even if like the gimmick was like right, like, per- like pervaded for a while. And it was it was yeah. So we'll talk about that. And I thought that was interesting. I like how uh, I like further lamp lampooning Steven's floating ability uh, yes. several times. I'm going to use that. Yeah, which again, <laughs> uh, the only thing we've ever done with floating is a uh, lampoon that exists so i don't think that was a good decision <laughs> to include that but um more proof of steven's um super speed this episode right yeah that that was really interesting i don't know why amethyst didn't just like sonic to the to the like hollow pearl instead of like running that's i guess that point. i guess that would have been cheating but um 
I, I mean, she's literally, she's literally Sonic. So I feel like if you're Sonic, yeah. you should just Sonic. So, uh, so is Jasper Shadow? Um, and are we going to get Silver? I don't. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to name another Sonic character, but okay, I guess Shadow's the only but... other character I can name if it makes you feel. <laughs> He's good. dark, yeah. edgy. There you go. Um, and uh, Justin can put that in his uh, Sonic fanfic. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. Um, I have not written a Sonic fan fiction yet. Oh, yes. that's that's uh, yes. doesn't need to yet, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, and then uh, obviously the stuff with Pearl at the beginning. We'll talk about this. Pearl points are like the best thing ever. I know. Yes. I was, I was, I was, I was really, Fruit bucks. I was really hyped for the, for the Pearl points. Okay, let's get into the episode. Um, yeah, you're right. Right after the last episode, Pearl and Garnet teleport back. Uh, we beat uh, we we beat Jasper and send Stephen. You see what I mean from getting spoiled. Stephen literally recounts the events of, of <laughs> yeah. the previous episode. So I was like, oh, okay, they fuse and stuff. Um, Pearl uh, is worried, Mom. Yeah, but then she's happy. All your training, you did so well. And um, Amethyst, you've reformed. And, Connie uh, is literally nowhere. Yeah, where yeah, the where heck is Connie? Connie? Like, did they just it's leave been more her? than ten seconds, I guess. I guess maybe Connie, Connie was like, "Well, go I'm gonna go home? home now." Yeah, I guess she went. Is, Connie on, the, like, is eh. Connie on the couch? Like, where, where is Connie? Like, it is a little bit. They, they're they're definitely like using, she's walking a lion. She's walking lion. Yeah, I guess they're do, using weird story devices too. Does lion go on walks? Have we had that? I don't know, but lion it would explain why we never see so... lion or Connie. The, the the show is now very conspicuously like doing things to get only a specific subset of characters in an episode. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I wish they didn't have to do these types of things, but it's fine. I don't know. Um, maybe in a different format, the show wouldn't have to do this. The right. <laughs> the Dylan's vision of the apocalyptic Beach City future. <laughs> we don't. Dylan just wants everyone to die. No, it's no, no. They can just leave to for Bayberg, and then <laughs> the Beach City gets destroyed. And then I wrote an article about this on Overly Animated Blog. If you want to check that out, but it's the third time Dylan has plugged it, please go read it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not the it's the it's, it's the context, man. But yeah, it's um. Uh, yeah, so no Connie, just with just a very heavily um, Stephen Amethyst focused episode, and then also Pearl's there for a little bit, and I guess Garnet for a hot sec. But, um, Steven, does Garnet say anything in this episode? Does she yeah, have she a just line? Touches, yeah, she, she no, just she knows she says something. She said, I didn't write it down, but she says something. Um, she was like, uh, happy that uh, they beat Jasper while Pearl was worried or something. I don't remember. Um, Steven's weekly training, uh, uh, Amy, uh, Amethyst is putting, uh, I'm now writing Amethyst as Amy on the outline, so I might start <laughs> calling her Amy too. Um, Amy's eggs, uh, putting eggs down the trash disposal, like, okay, that's a very Amethyst activity. And then I she just... said she's making egg salad, yeah. And then it comes back later. It messed me up so bad. I was like, no. Oh. Uh, oh. Ja- Jasper's back. Let's work hard. Uh, watch me train, earn po- pearl points, punctuality, perseverance, and positivity. The P's are the keys to success. I yeah. love Pearl. Pearl's great. It's like, great. They just, uh, this was wonderful. I just, I want to know, like, what, like, what, like, motivational video, like, what books has Pearl yeah. read? Like, what is it? Like, Pearl, you, like, I just all need to I know. could think was The Office the entire time with Shroot Bucks. That's all I could think. Except I'd rather have pearl points. Pearl points seem. I mean, I mean so in the pearl prize pouch, uh, some great stuff in that pouch, Stephen. The with prize those, like, pouch. Glasses that like, uh, I don't know. I don't even need pouch. glasses. They're yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope with a pearl prize pouch comes back and we see what else is in the pearl prize pouch. I want that to be a thing. But we I'm... saw that. Well, we saw the jester hat, so that's what he won. Oh, so that I... was. Oh, I didn't yeah, make that connection. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> he won Obviously. that. Wait, how big is that pouch? Yeah. Okay, it's the, obviously Hermione's purse. Like that's no, clearly what's going yeah, it's, on. It's, 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 she it's has a TARDIS, magical bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's easy. It's, yeah, that's, that's, that's not that hard to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make the connection that he he was wearing the uh, the hat. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Uh, I need to watch more critically to understand these in, these uh, <laughs> in depth themes from from the episode. Um, and uh, positive reinforcement does wonders. Amethyst wants in on the training. Um, first is uh, so they're training with the pearl holograms in the ruins. Uh, let the speed uh shuttle this is, runs this is hollow pearl 2.0001 oh, 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 one. um that's good <laughs> i don't know how many hollow pearl versions pearl is expecting but fitness uh, grand pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test what okay sure yeah i, don't well, know. I, I had don't know to what you said i don't know what you said but um less uh I think it was portal but i don't know less lethal training uh the sharpest uh we- the sharpest weapon is the mind and then <laughs> steven <laughs> and pearl like, just yes. going like hmm, mm-hmm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad that i just enjoy that we continue bringing the holograms back but then also acknowledging that they're really dangerous yeah <laughs> like, 
<laughs> but yeah, Steve, Steven and uh, Pearl like nodding at that is like yes. one of my that, that was... my biggest laugh episode. Um, two uh, two laps to give high fives to the Hollow Pearls. Uh, one Pearl point to the winner. Steven wins. Uh, good going easy whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Typical typical sitcomy plot type thing. You're going easy. No, they're actually beating you. Yeah, yeah. Um, agility. Uh, dodge the spears. Don't go too easy. And the final test in a battle. And Steven can boomerang his shield um that's amazing yeah i guess it's a weapon now too also how big was that shield yeah it was pretty big like that was massive yeah Yeah. Yeah, he can make it bigger yeah so steven wins all three um then we're playing lonely blade i wasn't sure what the name of this game was at first and then it was lonely blade um starring lonely blade lonely blade versus outgoing fist uh they're obviously playing on the GameCube again. And um, yes, want to play Lonely Blade with me? You can play the new Lonely Blade costume, Blue Lonely Blade. <laughs> like yep, she's that... eating egg salad out. Okay, of nice. The... You don't understand. It was so messed up. I also One... didn't catch this. I need. To I enjoyed the like because at first she's like, "I'm making egg salad." Like, oh, haha! You're putting it in the you know the garbage disposal. No, she was actually making egg salad in it. She was eating mayo and scooping it out, and like that messed me up. And then I also she was like, ate... "Good job keeping that going." She had a whole thing of mayo, and I almost. Got sick from that. Yeah, no. Well, she no. What messed me up was she's eating it out of the garbage disposal. But sure, you can, it can be the mayo. But yeah, yeah she actually made egg salad in the garbage disposal. That, that seems she would do that. Gag, yeah, um, with the shells and all. Yeah, I like the the blue costume too. And uh, Ko, my blade is the loneliest after all. Um, and then amethyst uh the whole time steven's like yeah you're doing <laughs> yeah you're doing great yeah, yeah the whole steven letting amethyst win. Um, What's the and, health bar? Yeah, <laughs> well, those bars <laughs> always there. Yeah, okay, Stephen. Uh, wanted you to feel better. Great. Even you're even more mature than me. You can do everything better. Now I'm the worst crystal gem. Um, interesting from Amethyst. Um, I get mad at myself. That's the thing I do, and then I suck at things even more. Um, I yeah, I it's 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 nice. We're getting into these um kind of like self esteem things with with Amethyst here, and um, this is kind of the most explicit uh stating of amethyst themes i feel like this and then yeah. the fight obviously uh and we're also have... getting into it a little bit with steven we don't really talk about it a lot with steven not since really the first season so it's interesting that we're like kind of like, obviously it's, we're doing it's with amethyst but like it's kind of both of them mm-hmm. yeah so. i think i didn't expect i expected the big amethyst development i wasn't expecting to get into like steven with rose again yeah that was really interesting and also steven self-esteem tough too yeah, uh, you have two whips and the dash thing. Uh, you have Rose's shield and bubble and the floating thing. <laughs> floating, I get to forget to use that half the time. Um, show you how bad I am fighting, and then this great scene at the end. Um, they're fighting. Uh, yeah, Sonicking, trapping the whip. Uh, fire. Uh, what? The, she like fires the whip. Like puts. Yeah, she has like it sort of crackles in like energy through yeah. it. I didn't know she could do that. And um, yeah, I didn't either. Bubble, she cracks the whip. Yeah, it was last episode, but okay. Uh, whip bubble. Spikes spikes on the bubble. Uh, that was new. Yeah, that's new. That's interesting. I have a I, feeling that's going to come back like on purpose as an attack. Like, yeah. and we're going to have this great moment, hopefully in the three-parter, where Steven and Amethyst just kind of like nod. He forms the bubble. She wraps the whip. He makes the spikes. They use it as just a giant weapon. Yeah. I, mean, I want we, to see that. We've uh, weaponized two of Steven's defensive moves in this one episode. Yes. Definitely notable. Um, and not entirely sure where we're going with that, but uh, it's it's. it's I don't know it's, if it's more. I don't know if it's more about like weaponizing defensive moves or more just about like establishing that like we still know very little about Steven's powers and that tech, like theoretically Steven's powers are like limitless. Like he can just yeah. Do we're whatever. just like more rapidly expanding. Steven's and I mean, also powers. he's learned a lot. He's learned to do more than just hold his shield. He's learned to use what he has to his advantage yeah, true but it's it's like this is this this episode and monday's episode we're like oh yeah these guys have been in training for <laughs> all year even though we've never shown it uh so i think that's 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 a lot of the point of this well, too. i think theoretically we're getting to this kind of idea that like steven's kind of like green lantern-esque and that like you know obviously we know like the you know they don't really have actual physical forms but their weapons kind of stay the same even though like you know garnet they can do different things with their weapons i do think mm-hmm. it's like maybe theoretically steven like yeah, he has his shield and like the bubble, but it's more about like he can manipulate this kind of like energy kind of stuff going on. Because that's like, yeah, he has his bubble, but he can do spikes to it. Like theoretically, he could do all sorts of things with the bubble if he can like alter its shape. So right. who knows? Yeah. And he can and he control and he can control the shield size. So I mean, he he like who knows? Maybe he can, he might even be able to duplicate the shield. Like who knows? Well, he he did make two shields uh, yesterday when um 
Estevani when well, that could be Estevani, yeah. but we saw the two shield throws. And they well, been... that might have been, been boomerang though. That might have been the boomerang thing too. But it was. I think we saw was both of them big... on screen at the same time. I think. Oh, okay. I don't know about that. But I, I mean, yeah. Remember, going back but... to Stephen Floats, he talks about all his powers are tied to his emotions. Green Lantern, his powers are powered by willpower. That's actually a really good parallel. Uh, sure. Um... I think that's what's going. Like, I think that's kind of something we're going towards. Is like this, like Stephen's powers. Like, it's they're going to be very. Di- they're very different from like Crystal Gym abilities. Like, he can just like kind of do whatever. <laughs> yeah, I do hope we we climax the stevens powers things this season but, yeah like i like know. to get to a point when i mean i don't necessarily think like you know oh we know all of his powers but something that's like a giant major new ability that's like holy crap this is what something that do. explains why he can get more powers i think this is our most prominent plot thread heading into the end of the season yes. there's a yeah, bunch I, in the recent podcast i recounted all the things we've been doing we've been doing stuff with rose amethyst um but the Stevens powers thing, I feel like Jasper's now is a recurring thing, even more so than Jasper. I feel like this well, is. Well, it's like been like every involved. episode, he's either gotten yeah. a new power or he's mentioned the new yeah. powers. So it's like we need to go somewhere with this. Like, yeah. there we have, like, I mean, and we even called it out in this episode, Amethyst being like, is that new? Yeah. <laughs> like, so is, is Jasper like the new Peridot now, you think? Oh, like, this, this, is a free, this is a frequent discussion topic. Yeah, it's uh, in the comments. Um, I yeah. mean, I don't think we're doing the same thing. Where we're just going to redeem Jasper. So I'm interested yeah. to see what we do with her uh, at the end of the season. Bubbled. Steven is stuck in a bubble. I think this is prime Steven's powers uh, yeah. territory. We're going to get into at the end, uh, both season finale. Um, anyway, continuing. Uh, we uh, more boomerang shield. Uh, Tiger millionaire again. Uh, guess who remembered to float? Uh, and then he can't control it, whips him back. Yep. If I can't beat you, I'm never going to beat Jasper. Uh, what's wrong? That was with? brutal, by the yeah. way. Like, oh, I'm yeah. going to bring you back, slam into the earth. That, that they showed that from two different angles too. I thought that was <laughs> we got a double take. We got a double take on that. I that know. was like, did we murder Stephen? <laughs> I guess. That was a beautiful <laughs> shot. I expected Stephen to poof. I truly thought Steven was going to poof. Steven capable of poofing, man. Yeah, is he, uh, we are not just... getting into that again. We, I think he we discussed died. that. But yeah. I don't know. Uh, I know what's wrong with me. Um, I'm not uh, not supposed to be small. Um, no, I can't No, I can't be anything I want to be. Can't even be the one thing I'm supposed to be. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course I know. I'm not Rose Quartz. Uh, why do you think I'm working so hard? Yeah, oh man. Interesting Feels. stuff at the end. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 interesting. I mean, this is clearly just like the all this like uh, your small amethyst from um, right. Peridot and Jasper now getting to her. And uh, I think recently she said uh, Rose told me I could be anything I wanted or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Rose said I was perfect just the way I am. Yeah, right. Something so I feel like, like that. that. So I feel like we, we she's like not fully taken that to heart. She's like, um, everyone says I want to be anything I can. Right. So like it's, it's yeah. like the, I think I felt like it was a parallel with Rose saying that there um and I, I don't know i think all the same with this stuff very interesting it's it's to a certain extent it's it's very much stuff we kind of know a little bit about amethyst yeah. already and we can assume it's very it's a little bit su- superficial theme type thing but at the same time it's still very deep in its own right and interested if we hammer if we like drill down more into one of these type of things and then steven saying um yeah and I'm, I'm not rose quartz yeah interesting interesting stuff um de- definitely conspicuously keep mentioning rose like yes I, something's I, happening rose has come up a lot lately like we're going somewhere with rose i i don't know if i'm necessarily 100 percent convinced it's in the last uh five yeah. episodes we only have five more episodes this season so i don't know uh but it's oh, I think... well we could i think well i mean let's say let's say steven in the bubble for example like i mean i for me i think that like yeah that might be the you know about his powers but also if he's in the bubble i'm kind of anticipating this kind of like more back in steven's mind kind of thing and that could that could definitely be something with rose like we could have i mean we're not gonna get all the answers or we don't even have all the questions really so we don't even know what we're asking but i do think like we i we're gonna get something with rose in the next five episodes i think that maybe not necessarily like i mean it'll be earth shattering because we know in zero percent about anything but i like i'm i I think we'll get something. I don't know. We'll see. Here's my yeah. new bubble. Here's my new bubbled uh, episode outline. So Steven's like, uh, like cocoons into a bubble against his will or something. And then like, we get some big revelation with its powers or something. And then he just like keeps using them. And then, and then he breaks out of the bubble and Rose emerges instead of Steven cut to black end of the season. 
Okay, there's my third. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm with you until that. I think he's gonna talk to Rose like in his mind, or he can like have this, uh, this uh, cluster thing with Rose. Yeah, he can do. Yeah. That I too. expect like an Avatar state, Avatar Roku I, shows I, up. I really think we just did that. The with cluster, big though. plot where we're going. I, I mean, I guess we need to like climax the cluster thing. So maybe talking to Rose. Yeah. Is kind of. I don't know though. Well, my thing is we have to do more with also his like mental abilities. Like we have to like. Oh yeah. Just also, you can like jump so into much. people's mm-hmm. minds. Yeah. So yeah, we kind of need to talk about that. Something with bit. that, yeah. Yeah. I agree. So we'll Do the other that. gems know? Did he tell them he was Lars? Do... I think we got into that at the end. I mean they showed up at the end, right? So of that episode, but I don't know if we've we haven't we haven't shown them explicitly discussing it. I'd assume he's talked about it. Yeah, because the gems seem to have very little concern for the fact Steven can, you know, possess people, which I would be concerned. I would be concerned, and we assume that like we haven't heard of Rose being able to do that. So Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, overall, good episode here. Um, another good one. Um, episode 99. Right, 98 or 99 or 90. However 99 because business is 100. Right, so Mappernet on Twitter says Bismuth it counts as two episodes, so it's 99 and 100 if you count all the shorts as one episode. So we're, st- we're stretching it. In mm. actuality, Bismuth will be the 98th episode, <laughs> but they're going to count it as episode 100 because... Um, I would count it as 100. Like, at, like, well, that's what that's what the promos are saying. So like, if, like, it's like production-wise, it's like that's how you kind of break things down. Like all the shorts add up to an episode production-wise. So it's production-wise, episode 100 is like the second half of this, of Bismuth. So yay, mm-hmm. episode 100 coming up. Ooh. Ooh. Great. Bismuth tomorrow, big, big deal. Uh, four storyboard artists, uh, one, one half hour episode, one big Bismuth. And very interested to see whether Bismuth goes or like stays after that episode. Yeah. What we're going to get into with Bismuth. Um, Steve and I were talking in the comments. Big prediction is like Bismuth is basically Jet. Um, like the, uh, <laughs> yeah. like the well intentioned. No, I don't want to hate Bismuth. Like the well intentioned, but like bad, like over the top actions. That's always been what I expecting from Bismuth, I feel like. I'm kind of uh, anticipating a lot of scenes where it's kind of like Bismuth with like. We just, we just have our field trips in one episode. Yeah. With each- I mean, yeah. I think- not necessarily like field trips, but like how like like not like in the present time, but like flashbacks. Like how Bismuth relates to Pearl and Garnet, and then maybe we'll get into a little bit of Amethyst stuff, hopefully. Yeah, if we're do if we're going right into the Amethyst arc, then we should end um the episode with like some big thing with Amethyst. Bismuth, what if like. Bismuth was the one who found Amethyst in the okay, kindergarten? That that's interesting. That'd be good. I doubt it, but that would be cool. Yeah. When was Bismuth uh we trapped in Rose's mane. How is yeah. Bismuth trapped in Rose's mane? How is like what Wait, is Lion, Lion's, Lion's mane? I mean, Lion it's, is Rose, so yeah, so that's it's fine. So, Will we get uh, anything about Lion at all, or just yeah. hey, Lion, thanks, pal? Goodbye yeah, I feel like Lion's pretty inherently tied to Bismuth, so we'll see if that happens. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, why were you inside my Lion? Looking, looking forward to that. Uh, as of now, uh, the schedule still says beta is not airing Friday. It's airing in a two-parter on Monday, but it might air Canada Friday. We, If it cares in Canada, we might just cover it on Friday anyway. I don't know. I don't trust Cartoon Network's schedule. We'll see. Um, and uh, either way, we're getting those three-parters after it. So five huge episodes in a row now. <laughs> um, not that any of this was like... These were pretty important episodes in their own right, but uh, getting into the meat of the season, I feel like now. And it's going to be really interesting. And um, we'll be covering it here over the animated podcast, over the You can uh, support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash over the Thank you very much to our patrons, Mitch Cordell, Beatrice, Nate, Andy, Jamie, Rachel, John, Ryan, Catherine, Davon, and Jade, aka Fever, Mitch, Cronus, Beach Exchange, Nathan, Philly, and Buzz Like Your Mailman, Rich Rose, Diamond, Barbara, Brian, Cook, Cat, Needle, Diamond, Day, and Jewel. Uh, right after this, we're about to head over to the Patreon exclusive podcast. Um, so that's a big perk of becoming a Patreon a patron. You can go to Patreon dot com slash overly animated if you want and on the monthly patron exclusive podcast i assume we'll have steven universe speculation there um it's gonna be good times live video podcasts uh every every month um patreon.com slash overly animated and uh we'll be back tomorrow uh, more steven universe the big bismuth episode uh we'll record our uh our um our ladybug podcast and put that on on sundays keep doing that star we talked about that earlier today a bunch of stuff overlyanimated.com uh last comments uh either of you guys on uh anything or steven or samethis or last minute bismuth predictions no. not really People, no, oh, bismuth bismuth is apparently a i forgot the word for it but like makes things like uh, make makes weapons 
like a blacksmith. Uh, yeah, bismuth is apparently. Yes, a blacksmith. I've heard this. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So Which actually neat. makes sense by the design. Okay, I see that. Yeah, yeah. In one of the promos, she like pulls out all like a flaming sword or something, right? So I don't know. Maybe she, she like made Rose's sword. Maybe she Ooh. made Rose. Maybe she made their weapons. Who knows? Right, I don't know. So we'll, we'll get into. All oh, it's going to be very interesting. The bismuth. The bismuth. <gasps> maybe she'll make Peridot a weapon. Why is okay? That, I mean, I'm up for that. Yeah, is Peridot even going to be in the next? Yeah, I, I don't I, care. I don't, I, I, don't handle, I don't know if I can handle a new character in Peridot because I'll just be watching Peridot the whole time. Like I don't know. If yeah, I can we don't need Peridot to appear. We just need Stephen to be like, I have this friend who's not here. Can you make her a weapon, please? That's all we need. It's the puppy dog guys. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Well, when will Peridot and Lapis even appear the rest of the season? Yeah, where are they? Will they even Lapis come? needs to show up because the whole did yeah. bismuth, poof, Lapis theory. And... Will Jasper even appear the rest of the season? Like, yeah. Are we, yeah, I don't even, it's like, you know, I don't even know what we're doing in the three-parter. It's interesting. The oh, yeah, well, later, well just... Lasper and Jappas are going to appear because Beta is uh, visit friends in the country. So that might Jasper's just going to keep popping up everywhere. Hello, Rose. Yeah, that's that's yep. yeah, that's new. I'm, I'm glad this is catching on because I've been on this for a while. That's I brought you a donut, thing. Rose. Yeah, this is this is yeah. I'm glad this is a thing now. <laughs> so um, good. Anyway, yeah, let us know your thoughts. YouTube comments, uh, overlyanimated.com, in the comments on the article or Tumblr asks. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're watching, you can, uh, follow us on Tumblr, Twitter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And thank you guys for listening once again. And we'll see you tomorrow for Bismuth. Woo! 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 Bye! Bye! Bye.